I wanted to talk about stubs and drivers. First of all, when you're writing code, sometimes you don't know exactly what your code's going to be. So let's go ahead and create something. So I'm going to add a, well, source file. And this is for an HTML web page. So I've got a web. I'm going to create an associated file and I click OK and adds it to my program. Then I start saying, well, what do I need in this? Well, I want to be able to display a web page. So what are some of the things I would have? Well, I want to have a maybe a void um, print header. And then I also want to have a void print body. And the body might take some more stuff in it. So I might do print void print maybe inside the heading and I might have a void print footer and so I might put these things in here and inside of my header maybe I have some like a void print cookies Anyway, I get all these things put together and then I can take all of these methods and I can put them in my main code right here. So I've got my web.h right there. I've got all these things here and I can take each one of these things and turn them into a stub program. What does the stub program do? Well, nothing really. The stub functions are just there so that these things work. And then once they are written, they can do a little bit more. And you can then write each of these one at a time. So let's start with uh, the print header. Well, maybe the print header does something, print some stuff. And then the print header after that will then print my cookies because those are part of the cookies. And after that, maybe it needs to print a blank line. So it has a, and this could be just a, a C out or some of that. And, and then I just need to make sure that I load in this standard library here. So I need to. Add in my Iowa string right there. So you can see you can print out individual pieces and just write individual pieces and make just that part work. And maybe down in your footer, you have something that you print out, you know, your footer. And then after your close footer tag thing right here, you might close it up and you know, have your copyright stuff in here. But this way you can write your code and only do the parts that you need when you need them. But all these methods are now available. All these functions are available immediately. So if I go to my main program and I just want to print out a web page, well, I might print out all the different parts. I might say, well, what do I need? Well, I need a header. I need to just copy all this over here and look and see what we can put. Maybe I need to do a header and that means cookies are part of the header and the body. Maybe we only need to worry about the heading and the footer inside of the body because that's there. And we can just test these things out and say, does this work? And so maybe it prints out the header, the heading and the footer, and then it's all running. So I can run my code. And it might not have everything I want, but it will display what I have written so far. And these are the drivers. These drive the code. This program is the drive. This main is the driver that runs it. And so I can then generate a web page. In this case, a web page. And I can go back and fill in things as I am ready. I can start adding new pieces into them. So there you go.
stubs and drivers.